Hey everybody, the Gospel According to Music here with another Bible review. This is the CSB Bible. It's called the Restoration Bible, Embracing God's Word in Difficult Seasons. The main editor is Stephen Otterburn. There's a lot of information in this. This is kind of like a, um, you know, you've got different Bibles out there that are geared towards people who are going through difficult times, addictions, problems, uh, and this is one of those kind of Bibles that will help you in this. Here are some of the things in here. A first 30-day restoration devotional, book introductions, highlighting the restoration themes in each book, 66 restoration profiles of biblical characters and real people, 10 embracing God's word full page features filled with scripture highlighting biblical themes relating to restoration, over 100 joyful noise call-outs of scriptures throughout the Bible to provide encouragement from God's Word. Uh, basically has a one to three year Bible reading plan, a 52 scripture memory plan, a two column text, typical headline, topical headlines rather, Smithsone presentation page, full color. There's a lot of things in here. Steve Autoburn, of course, is the founder of New Life Ministries and the host of New Life Live. Um, he is the creator of Women of Faith, which is attend attended over by 5 million women. And he has over 100 million, that, that's not right, 11 million books in print. Is that correct? 11 million? Okay. 11 million? That can't be right. That's got to be a typo. Um, such headings such as uh, health is a choice, every man's battle. But anyway, this is kind of the Bible. This is it right here. It's got the leather touch. This has um, the gold gilding. It also has um, the CSB True North on the top. Holy Bible here on the bottom. Holman, of course, there. It's got two ribbons, one for the Old Testament, one for the New Testament. Um, let me just tell you, it comes in paperback, it comes in this, and it comes in an indexed version of the Leather Touch. Paper liner. And there's your presentation page. Here's the information. The CSB Restoration Bible, Embracing God's Word in Difficult Seasons. These are all the people who are involved in it. This came out... Um, in 2018, you'll see more of them popping out uh, this year because this came out towards the latter part of last year. And again, there's the ISBNs for the paperback, the brown leather touch, and the brown leather touch indexed. Now, this is the contents. There is tons of information in here. Um, there is a breakdown of what this all means. This is one of those you're going to want to spend some time with. If you do counseling, if you do uh, ministry to people with addictions, if you do counseling with people with grief uh, or divorce, this is one of those Bibles that will help you in that kind of a situation. Steve talks about what the Bible is all about. This is the overview, overview of the restoration principles, which is R, rest and re reflection. E, eternal perspectives, S, support, T, thanksgiving, and contentment. Then we've got some more over here, O for centeredness, other-centeredness, not self-centered, R for relationships, E for exercise of faith. And if you see here, this is how to use it, breaks down all the different things about it, the notes, all of the themes that you will see running throughout this Bible. Here's some more information about it, the stories. And then here's the introduction. And then this is a 30-day devotional, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on here, but he taught in parables and accusations, God the Father, and we're going to go ahead and get to the other parts. This is brand new, so the pages are all sticking. This is kind of a breakdown of the different notes that you'll find throughout here. 
So there's all kinds of information here in the front before you even get into the text. Here's index to joyful noise callouts. The fonts are very good size. I'd say about a nine or a 10. There's also pages for you to make notes. This is the introduction here on this page. Here's a brief introduction into Genesis, and then it gets right into the themes here, as you can see. And then here's the text. It's very easy to read. There are no center references. There are no uh, cross references. Down here at the bottom here are some notes, transla translational notes. Boy, my mouth's not working today. And this, as you can see, has got something almost every page. Enoch walked with God, and then he was not there because God took him. And as you can see, it's very well done, very easy layout. Let's go ahead and move into the New Testament, kind of give you an idea of what that's going to look like. As you can see, the pages are definitely sticking together. There's your ribbon. Okay, here's New Testament. I don't think it's going to open up the way I want it to because of the pages sticking. Somebody said, I hate pages when they stick like that. You know, I kind of like that, and I'll tell you why. Because you know you're getting a Bible that's not been used before. I, I actually like it. Some people don't. They hate it that it sticks, but I, I like the fact that it does. So anyway, here we go. We're getting into Matthew. As you see here, we've got um, the first part of Matthew. One of the things somebody asked me is it got red lettered. No, it does not. It's all black letter. Frankly, let me just kind of share my feelings on that. Um, some people like it because they think it's, I don't know, makes God's word seem more important if it's in red. Uh, I disagree because the Bible was never written with red letter, not until the early 1900s. Um, and I don't think it makes those words any special because it's all God's word. Um, also, being 64 years old, one of the problems that I have with red letter, and I actually had it before I got to be 64, is the inconsistency of the red. Um, now, I'm not talking about just in one Bible. I'm talking about the inconsistency. Some Bibles are kind of in a pinkish red, a bright red, a dark red, an orangey kind of red, and I don't like that. I like a brick red because it's easier on the eyes, but again, if you prefer red letter, this is not one of those Bibles that you're going to find it. This is the purpose for ministering to people with struggles and needs that they have in their life. This is a great Bible for anybody who does counseling, who does ministry, who uh, is a Sunday school teacher or a teacher who ministers to people in all kinds of lives. This is not just a Bible for addictions. This is for people who are going through horrible times in their lives that they need the encouragement and the, the uh, positive influence from God's Word to overcome those situations. Now, this goes all the way through. As you can see, I'm now into... Uh, James and we're still we're still going strong here with all the notes now of course it's not laying flat right now it will the more you use it because it's like brand new out of the box and it's going to um, do that but the more you use it and break it in it will lay a little bit better and flatter okay now we're at the end of Revelation we got a page for notes and we got a tropical index which helps us with more information and it goes many pages, I would say probably maybe about 25, 30 pages, uh, and talks about everything. Revenge, salvation, Satan, second coming, 
sex, sin, singleness, submission, success, suffering, um, suicide, worship. So it's got all kinds of stuff there. And I'm really trying to get this to turn. And then there's more pages for notes. And then there's the maps. Again, leather touch. This will last you a long time. Again, a great Bible for ministry to people who are struggling with life. Check it out. It's not very expensive. I believe it's around $39.99. Yeah, there it is, $39.99. And most of the time you'll find it on sale, um, usually four twenty bucks in that ballpark in the 20s. So there you go, the Restoration Bible in the CSB. This is another Bible review from the Gospel According to Music.